What's up guys, today we got a super awesome video I wanna introduce you to a buddy of mine. You guys probably know him as Tailgate Tech. Well, he's here today and he's gonna show us his awesome rig. So you guys, stick around. Hey guys, so I'm Andy. You may know me as Tailgate Tech. I have a YouTube channel. I am a mobile electronics installer. Um, I install a lot of GPS tracking devices and various other mobile electronics. So today I kind of wanted to give you a little tour of my setup and kind of show you guys what it's like to work out of what I'll call kind of a non-standard uh, service vehicle. So I do work out of my truck. It is not, you know, your standard service by a truck though. It's just a regular pickup truck that I've set up to work for exactly what I need it. So stick around, I'll show you what we got. Alright guys, so here's Andy and he's got a badass rig and it's loaded with tools so he's going to show you what he's got. Alright guys. First off, you got to explain the setup you got with <laughs> the, the bed slide. Alright, so got the F-150. Uh, when I got, we actually had just a uh, Trifold tonneau cover on it. Um, unfortunately, that just didn't quite give me enough room, and I was always worried being a short guy, trying to get stuff out of the back, I was gonna scratch the bed up. So, we went with the full ARE camper shell. Uh, that's actually the Z series. Um, and then we went with the Cargo Glide 1500 XL, which is a full length bed slide, rated at holding 1500 pounds. Wow. Um, now, I also, with this does have some legs. So if I feel I need a little bit extra support, I can pop the legs on and give it a little bit of extra support there at the ends. That would be good like if you was having to work off of it or something, you know, banging around or exactly. whatever. Exactly, yeah. So kind of starting at the back corner here, um, all the way at the back I store my ladders, my little work platform, I've got my spare batteries. I've got a few cases here, um, rev nut tool, hole saws, uh, Torx and Allen heads, power probe. Got my parts bin. We've got nuts and bolts, screws, crimp connectors for the electrical stuff and RF connectors for all the coax cables. Um, this is just the common stuff that I use on a daily basis. So it's just what I need. So a lot of times I may not have everything I need, but this gets me most of the time. Coming around to the front, we've got one of the Jersey Discount Tool cordless tool holders. Um, this is awesome. I keep my most used tools right here. Um, do have some revisions coming on this thing pretty soon. So this whole deal will probably be rearranged shortly. Um, Bin for kind of my catch-all, that's things like tape, zip ties, commonly used stuff. Tub of towels, of course. Tub of towels. Got my rubber gloves. Uh, little parts bin that I use for various stuff. Um, got some lights out here. Um, my Bluetooth speaker. And, of course, a little magnetic parts tray. Yep. It's hard to beat them. Yep. And what everybody loves, the Montezuma Triangle. Yeah, um, this guy has been with me for about four years now, going on five, I guess. Um, I would not trade this box off for mm -hmm. anything. I'm the same way, like that is the 
perfect truck toolbox. It is. Hands down. It is. Uh, um, people can talk about the snap-on road boxes or whatever. You'll never touch the amount of tools in that smaller footprint. Yeah. And, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I had a picture on about a month ago of everything that I pulled out of here when I was getting ready to get the bed slide installed because I wanted to clean the toolbox up really good. And this, what you see in here now, is probably only half of what I actually had in there. Right. And I just, we got this installed and I went straight out on the road and I haven't had a chance to get it finished putting everything back in. But if you haven't checked out my toolbox tour before, check mm -hmm. it out because that gives you a full idea of what all I have in my box um, on a regular basis. Yeah, it's a lot lighter than the, the last time I seen it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But uh, that is really nice setup you got. Coming around the back side. Um, so I've got some of the acro bends, use those for storing a lot of my small parts in. Um, back there against the parts bin, I've got uh, my grinder, my half inch impact, and my vacuum. Uh, chemical storage up here, along with paper towel holder, cock gun, zip ties, and that's about the extent of it right now. Like I said, this is getting, going to begin a major rework here soon. Um, so keep watching, follow <laughs> me along, and we'll uh, show you what we're going to do here in the future. I uh, got some big plans for this. It just takes time. and. Uh, as soon as work slows down enough, we'll uh, get you another update. There you go. All right, guys, like always, be sure to check out Andy's channel. I'll put a video right up here to a channel. Um, uh, the last time he did a toolbox tour in his other truck that he had, and you guys can kind of see how he had it set up. But uh, this one is definitely a lot nicer. He's got a lot more room, especially with the slide out bed. It's pretty cool. But be sure to follow Andy's channel because he's got some great content. Does really good tool reviews. His tool reviews are way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Cool tools and merchant or merchandise over here. Cool tools and discount codes over here. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger. It's really easy. It's two step process. Take your finger, press the button. That's it. You're in. All right, guys. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.